It seems to be very apparent that out of all my videos, the one that seem to capture most people's attention are the ones that I've done with are, are, are my Sonic videos. To this very day, the rev my my Sonic 13-inch plush review based off the second movies uh, remains to be the highest viewed video on this channel. And with the more recent Sonic um, video that I've done on, on the on the figure, is has garnered its second place. I don't understand why, but Hey, I do appreciate the support. And for that, I do hope you enjoy this video. Hello everyone, this is The Lone Knight back again with another toy review here. And today we are going to be going over the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, Knuckles the Echidna figure. And among all the figures I have got on this, I have got based off the movie, this is definitely the one I had the hardest in trying to find. Um, let's just say that where I'm where I'm at right now, um, it was very rare to find um, toys based off the Sonic Two movie, unfortunately, and it took me months upon months to finally get this guy. Now, to be honest, I actually got this. I actually got him like about two or three months ago, but before that, it it was a hell of a lot for me to go and search for this guy and thankfully and luckily I finally got him in um I finally got got him in my sights and yeah um but anyway yeah just want to bring that up there so anyway this is the box this is the the box and you know here's the logo and then there's um and here's the figure itself and then you have Sonic right, right over there and then there's the um the name Knuckles is Right here, so yeah, this is the box right here, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, like with the Sonic figure, it does come with a snowboard. And then, so here's the back right here. You have Knuckles, and on the bottom you have Sonic, Tails, and Robotnik. As you can tell, I already reviewed these two. Um, don't tell on getting Robotnik, as I mentioned, because again, I find it odd that they made a figure. A robotnik that's on the same height level as the um as the rest because of, as the others because well as we all know you know he is a lot taller by comparison um he certainly fits more with the two inch lines you know as a perfect um um depiction for how for how 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 they are presented in a movie but anyway um so yeah so here's the figure right here and then there's the name knuckles and then here's the information which i'm about to read because it's very short knuckles is one tough echidna with no time for small talk he is on a mission to find the greatest power in the universe and action speaks louder than words so yeah that's the information and it says that it has 13 points of articulation so yeah and so, with the final member of Team Sonic in my possession, let's take this guy out and see how he compares. Yeah, but um, overall, um, I really do like this um, figure. Um, I would say it is probably my favorite looking figure of the of the bunch based off the film. Um, and like I said before, and yeah, um, like I said, he was, like I said, Knuckles was definitely the, the highlight for me. But... Um, as for the figure, like I said, I do like how it looks um, aesthetically, but I do find its articulations to be a little bit stiffer than I anticipated. Uh, overall, so yeah. so anyway, like with the, um, the Sonic figure, he does come with a snowboard as an accessory. Um, as for articulations, um, it can move, but... It's again the articulations. Again, there are, there are definitely articulations, but I feel like it's a lot stiffer in comparison. And I was hoping it would be a little better comp because um, because the um, because both the arms and the legs for both Sonic and Tails are very thin that I'm actually afraid that I might actually break them. I was hoping this wasn't going to be the case here, but it looks like it might. It looks like it might be, if not more so, due to how um, stiff. The arms move. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, because of the quills on the back, you cannot turn his head over, which is unfortunate. Um, and um, the legs can move 
so does the knee but again i'm almost afraid not to go too far with it yeah. it, ah oh crap you see i even i even clipped one off but i'll be able to clip it back hold on a sec let me stop right here then i'll get it back now judging by the now judging by my feelings on the um on on my thoughts on the articulation um you can tell that i had that there i do have more negative things to say about this compared to all the others that i've done which is unfortunate um but again i do like the but again i do i am glad i really am glad that i've got this guy i do and again i do like the look of it like it's it's perfectly accurate to the movie it's like you know it's yeah it's a perfect um, representation of how he looks in the movie so again i am happy to finally get this guy um but again with the articulations and everything else but the articulation is kind of um downgraded that for me to the point where you know you cannot pose him in any sort of way you know which again it's you know it's too bad it's unfortunate but anyway yeah so yeah again i'm glad i picked this guy up but um but other than that yeah it is unfortunate that i had to oh yeah and uh, before i um get to do that um i want there's also the fact that well he comes with this accessory so yeah so like with the sonic you know you have these two pegs here and then you clip them right here just for him to stand on so yeah and so here we have knuckles alongside with sonic and tails and to completely form team sonic and yet despite my feeling and despite the the sort of negative um, treatment I have with the figure in terms of its articulation. I am still very happy to finally get this guy just so I can fully get all of Team Sonic in one frame. So yeah, I definitely am happy to finally get all of Team Sonic. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, sorry if this was not as positive as the others that I've done. Um, but I will say that if you are a fan of the movie and if you do like the character of Knuckles in general, I would definitely say pick this guy up, despite, um, despite what, what I have to say about this. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day and take care. Well, that's it guys. Um, this is going to be the last of the Sonic, uh, movie related stuff that I'm going to be doing for a while. That is, of course, until the third movie comes out. But hey, maybe we'll check out what Mario has in store for his upcoming movie. Why are you staring at me? Those were our best attacks, and they did nothing! We can't beat Robotnik as long as he's got that emerald. He's too powerful! Look, we aren't strong enough to beat Robotnik on our own, but there's three of us. Your strength, your smarts, and my speed together, that's how we win. So we make our stand here, on the field of battle. As a team. This is it. This is our moment. Time, Time to fight. Bad time to say this, but I don't actually have a plan. Tails, any ideas? We have to find his weak spot. I suggest the groin. What? No, no. Traditionally, yes. The groin is the weakest spot. Stop saying groin. It's hard. Look out. I know what his weak spot is. It's me. I'm the groin. Ah. Think about Whoa. it. I live rent free in this dude's head. So I go out there and rile him up? He'll focus on only you, leaving himself open to a flanking maneuver from me and the fox, Hedgehog. You are a brave and noble warrior. Go to your certain death with honor. We're gonna have to work on your pep talks, pal. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. 